If Drake didn't have a hidden son, I wouldn't believe he knew the touch of a woman. Honestly, he makes that X music that like is circling around your block and be like, I was in the neighborhood. This is about to turn into a we're ragging on Drake street. I want you to give me a Drake song and we'll go over the lyrics. Hotline Blink, great example. That's a good one. Drake lyrics, Hotline oh, Blink. Okay, I'm gonna use a better one and not just Google. Where's Genius? Because Genius is what a lot of people use. Here we go. So maybe we could get some insider on <laughs> Drake's lovely lyrics. They did, yes, I love it. You used to call me on my, you used to, you used to. I love this. The girl is likely his former Canadian flame. No, no. Okay, so you didn't see that. Hold on, 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 hold on. I swear I didn't date Drake. I swear I never dated Drake. I swear I didn't. The girl is likely his former Canadian flame, Nebby, who he's mentioned in such songs such as Look What You've Done and Best I've Ever Had. But also what she needed, Drake would drop everything and what she would call, especially if it was at night. Okay, so maybe she's moved on with her life. And I know when that hotline bling, that can only mean one thing. I did used to call you when we were together. We're no longer together, Drake. I don't need to call you. Drake knows that this time of night, there's only one person who'll call him. He also knows that the only thing that she wants is to come over and have sex. Dang, that's crazy. It's almost like you'll be calling me for the same thing. That's, guys never like it when you switch it up with them. I too want to call you for a booty call. And they're like, they're like, you you can't do that. I don't approve of you calling me like that. Why would you treat me like I'm some type of meat? That's not nice. Crazy, cause you do the same with me. Ever since I left the city, you got a reputation for yourself now. Everybody knows that I feel left out. Girl, you got me down. You got me stressed out. Like ever since I left the city, you started wearing less and going out more. Passing some champagne out on the dance floor. Hanging out with some girls I've never seen before. Yes, I have new friends. I've decided to live my best life. How dare I, you know, live my life as a single woman? Like these days, all I do is wonder if you're bending over backwards for someone else. Wonder if you're rolling up a backwood for someone else. Doing things I taught you, getting nasty for someone else. You don't need no one else. You don't need nobody else. No. Why are you never alone? Why are you always touching the road? You used to always stay at home. Being a good girl, you was in the zone. Yeah, you should just be yourself. Right now you're someone else. I <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really, cause I do like the song, but when you think about it, it's like, bro, imagine your ex texting you these things. Right, she didn't, but she didn't start doing that stuff until you left the city. So she only did these things after dude left. So how is it for, exactly. Like y'all could have broken up and she was like, you know what? I don't want to wait for this dude. I want to live my life. I don't want to wallow in his pity. Like, how is this a problem? But seriously though, like Drake, so this whole song is just Drake complaining about a woman he's probably no longer seeing anymore. They probably broken up, moving on with her life. And he's upset that she's moved on with her life and she's decided to not just be this woman that he's accustomed to. And he doesn't like that, that she's, you know, become like probably better for herself. This song basically proves to me that Drake does not understand that people move on in life and that he should just get the fuck over it. To be honest. In his song, Time Flies. Okay, okay, really fast. Really, really fast. Hold on. Time Flies. Yeah, I'm outside in the AMG. Right outside. TT. Two turp, baby. You know me. Still with the dogs that I grew beside. All the around me, they ride or die. Gotta watch the time because it's flying right by. I'm outside in AMG. <laughs> he is literally like, I'm outside of your place. You know, just, just out here. I Certain things just start and get intenser. Think we need to have us an adventure. So basically, I'm outside of your house. I think you and I should go out for a drive. I'm way lit right now. I just caught someone, you know, being off of a fake Instagram or whatever. And then, you know, right now, I would rather see my heat turn to chrome. Rather see my heart turn crystal. I can't even front like I don't miss you. Right now, I'm just stuck inside the crib on my own. Soon as I'm free, 
I'm about to pop up on your phone. Like I'm outside. Drake's ex deserves compensation. This is terrible. So what we've established here together, family, is that he doesn't want to be in a relationship with you. He's outside of your house and he's turned up after hanging out with the broskies because he misses you. Why is he outside your house? Because he wants to take you on an adventure. Who cares what time it is? Who cares if you actually are in a relationship or could be sleeping or have a job? Heart still on Jeff Will, baby. Two turned baby, you know me. I'm pulling off before they knew me. Sometimes I wish there was two of me or three of me when it was you and me. I felt like I loved you too much to change you. You've been leaving angles before more than angels. Black men be like, I'm traumatized. Don't you want to talk about it? But I don't want you to put up, put up with the side effects. Bro, it's 2 a.m. But like my feelings though, like I've been going through a lot and I just want to talk to you. I want to hang out with you. And you sitting there like, Drake, it's 2 in the morning. Drake, please. I want to sleep. I got work. None of us is making millions over here. Like you. I was like, I can give you those millions, but not really because you don't really deserve that. But like, I can give you some. I can shop. We go shopping right now. If you really want to go shopping right now, you'd be like, Drake, <laughs> honey, 2 a.m. I got to be up in two hours. Go home. <laughs> so that's us hating on Drake. Apparently, these songs are about me and how I did Drake wrong ages ago. How dare I move on with my life? I can't.